It's the opening of the 2015 high school football season on WSCS Sheboygan. Joining me is the coach, Chris Wright. I'm Mike Martin. Chris, this is actually the second week of the high school season. Uh, South uh, dropped their opener against Ashwaubenon. and they got another tough one tonight. They host uh, Green Bay Notre Dame. Well, one of the key factors, I think, is their second straight home game. they got to get a win. they got to get a win at home. And, you know, now with this conference all changed a little bit and, you know, having to have a 500 record, you got to start getting some wins and taking care of business tonight might well be one of those things. Didn't it rain like every game last year, Marty? Cry! It's about time. Uh, by the way, if you want to make it to the playoffs this year from the uh, Fox River Classic, you got to have five wins because they play nine games. Uh, Notre Dame lost last week to De Pere 21-4. But uh, both teams coming in one and one, you still, know, still would think Notre Dame has the advantage. Well, you know, they played a very good team. I saw the pier was ranked sixth in Division Two, so Notre Dame played a very good football game. And, and looking at the stats and stuff, it didn't seem like there was a lot of uh, offense and everything like that. So it was very low stats and so very tight game. So I expect Notre Dame to have a very good program, as Coach Novak has for really, how long now. He's, you know, been to the state tight, uh, title game and things like that. So, you know Notre Dame is one of always the powerhouses in our league. South lost arguably the best running back in the conference last year in Boris Ristovojevic, but... On the plus side, they have the, uh, their quarterback returning and their leading receiver returning. Ginther, the quarterback, uh, Prunik is the uh, receiver. Yeah, not only that, I like A.J. Gatouris, too. There's another one. You know, I was thinking about the game today and some of the things that South probably has to do to, to, to take into account that Boris is gone, and we've been blessed with Boris the last few years, is getting their athletes the ball, and, you know, Prunik and Gunther has got to be some of those guys. And definitely A.J. Gatouris, he's got to somehow get himself available, and Coach Rice in his second year now is going to do what he has to do to get his best athletes the ball. Maybe the tough part for uh, Coach Rice is to find a running back, not to take over or, or replace for us. You don't want to replace a guy like that, but at least to give them some credibility at running the ball so they can't just focus on uh, the pass game. Yeah, I guess we'll have to see who that is tonight. I, you know, I think Kittleson will be one of those guys that gets the ball, and like I said, get there with his legs might be that. So, you know, being in such a tough situation last week where they just got hammered. Uh, I don't think we probably saw the true things from the Red Wings that we're maybe going to see tonight. Well, one of the things you hope as as the season goes along, you know, you start to improve, of course. Uh, let's talk about Notre Dame. Uh, who do they got coming back? Well, they got this I Island Felt, I think is his name. He's the quarterback, and they lost a bunch of guys, too, so they're, they're kind of inexperienced uh, as well. They only have 13 senior South on the other end, only has 10, which is something we'll talk about as the year progresses, but like I said, some weapons for Notre Dame. Again, we'll have to see what happens with the wet stuff too. That might turnovers might be a factor tonight too. As I walked in and looked at Notre Dame, you know, we talk about size and having big guys. They don't look particularly big, uh, so in that respect, maybe South can match up with them. Yeah, we'll see what what happens in the trenches. I was noticing the same thing. South seems to have a lot of numbers, and I think they brought their JV kids up too. But uh, you know, it's one of those things that neither team wants to go to 0 and 2. You know, as the season goes on. One of the things when I was watching prepping for the uh, coaches show that we did. Uh, a week or so ago, was uh, South got a couple of turnovers in that ball game, and with the weather the way it is, you would think that they might have an opportunity for that. Right, and that's, that's and something that hopefully will make a difference. You know, South lost a lot of good players from here going. You know, they're going to have to have guys that create new plays and things. That we, as I mentioned, they only have 10 seniors, so they're a very young team trying to get bigger and better every week. All right, with that, we're going to step out and we come back. We'll have the kickoff for tonight's football game. When you're behind the wheel, always watch for people walking and biking. It's Wisconsin law to give bikes at least three feet when passing. In Wisconsin, the laws are the same for bicyclists and motorists. So if you bike, ride with the traffic and obey stop signs and lights. People ride bicycles to go places, get exercise, reduce pollution, save money, and have fun. Watch for people riding bikes when you're driving. Share and be aware, we're all responsible. I'm a board certified pediatrician. I've practiced pediatrics now for about 14 years. And I always tell my parents I give the vaccine to both of my daughters. And I really do not want them to come to me 20 years from now and say, Mom, I have cervical cancer and you did nothing to protect me. This is a vaccine that is safe, is effective, and it can prevent cancer. 
He serves his party best, who serves the country best, Rutherford B. Hayes. Patriotism is easy to understand in America. It means looking out for yourself by looking out for your country. Calvin Coolidge. Government is a people's business, and every man, woman, and child becomes a shareholder with the first penny of tax paid. Ronald Reagan. There's nothing wrong in America that can't be fixed of what is right in America. William Clinton. Be the we now. Cable access channels ensure you the ability to exercise your First Amendment rights through the medium of television. They create opportunities for mutual communication, education, and artistic expression. Public access makes community participation possible and gives you a voice in your community and your world. Make sure everyone has a voice. Support your local public access channel. I'm a Packer fan. And we're Packers fans. Hi, I'm David Collins, superintendent of the Wisconsin State Patrol. Packers fans are the best fans in football. We are the ultimate team players. The ultimate team player. Be the ultimate team player. Always have a designated driver. Always have a designated driver. Live responsibly. Packer fans. Don't let fans drive drunk. Responsibility has its rewards. Go Packers! Go Packers! Go Packers! Getting ready for the opening kickoff tonight. Uh, Sheboygan South will be receiving the opening kickoff and back deep is uh, Jacob Rice and A.J. Gutierrez. Uh, Rice is, uh, I think, the fastest guy on the team, Chris. Well, he's really improved his speed, Marty. A year ago, he wasn't as quick. But I'll tell you, I watched him this summer and his speed has gradually worked. And talking to his dad, he's worked hard at getting faster, which credit Jacob for that. One of the things I can honestly say is all the games that I've umpired uh, for them this past season, I didn't notice that speed. He was an infielder, so yep. uh, sometimes it doesn't always uh, show up like it might with an outfielder. Yeah, he stole a lot of bases for the JV Legion this summer. and uh, Vincent Pellini will do the kicking chores for uh, Notre Dame. They come in 0-1. South is 0-1 uh, also. Light rain. Not cold, however. Kick is deep. Carries back to the 40-yard line. Rice has it. And he's taken down outside the 20-yard line. It'll be first and 10 for the Red Wings. Well, we'll see how the footing goes there. Jacob looked like he was a little tentative going up the, the field there. What a 19-yard return. Rice is split off to the left and off to the right we have uh, Schmitz hand off to Kittleson he eludes one tackler and dives forward nice run that time gotta like that we mentioned Matt Kittleson in the opening just a junior. It's going to be a 10-yard run. Spot the ball at the 24-yard uh, line. It's an 11-yard pickup. Inside handoff to Kittleson again. He drags tacklers forward for about a yard. Short Boy, gain. You can see how everything's kind of in slow motion there. I think that's just because of how wet it is, Marty. And you know, normally that's supposed to be a quick hitter, but you could see Gunther just slowly put that ball into his hands. Now we're going to spread them out, Marty. We got five, five receivers. Ball at the just outside the 35-yard line. Gunther alone in the backfield, in motion, fakes the handoff. No, he does give it off, and dragged down was Mason Prunick. Well, I think they tried to run the jet sweep there, and if uh, Notre Dame is scouted, they like to probably know they're going to run that out of there. And Notre Dame was not fooled by that situation at all as the linebackers and safeties all came up. And uh, that's just good scouting. Exactly. Krunik probably the second fastest guy on the team. Ginther looking down the field. He has time. Good blocking up front. The pass is incomplete. Intended receiver that time was uh, Tanner Schmitz. 
Well, there was plenty of time there, but nobody opened. And uh, when you roll out to a side, that limit eliminates part of the field, and the uh, Notre Dame defenders came over to cover that. You know, Tanner Schmitz was the punter a year ago and doing the duties again. He's a senior. Tanner plays for the Sheboygan South baseball team. Return men back. He's got it at the 36-yard uh, line. Avoids one tackler, avoids another, avoids oh a third, and he's got the corner. He's down to the 40, cuts back 30, picks up a block, 20, 10, 5, and a touchdown. 64 yards. 64-yard punt return. Chris called it. Beautiful return that time by Vincent Pellini. Boy, oh boy. Not a good start, Chris. Showed good speed to the outside. Watch that one tackler, two tacklers. There was the best shot and uh, didn't keep his head up. And then the cutback. Not much of a block there, but uh, just enough. Extra point by Pelini is good, and it's uh, Pelini seven south nothing. With 10:09 uh, remaining in the first quarter, Notre Dame on top. Every child adopted from foster care remembers their one day. The day he first met his forever family. The day their adoption was finalized. More than 100,000 children are waiting for their one day. My one day was happy. Find out more at nationaladoptionday.org. Boy, oh boy, Marty, you come out. You come out and get a nice 12 yard run. And you go backwards punt and then uh, give up a punt return and within two minutes after a week of practice you find yourself in a hole down seven nothing very disappointing really and there's a I don't think they chart this in high school football but if you look at pro football the, the percentages when you get a punt return or some kind of a return like that for a touchdown your team wins about 60 percent of the time if it isn't greater than that so south has a hill to climb now Rice takes that one from the uh, eight yard line. Trying to get to the outside and uh, good tackle. He may have gotten to the 20. It's going to be first and 10 south. There's another case, Chris, where they dominate time of possession, but it didn't matter. They're spotting the ball right at the 19 yard line. Well, as I said, that first run from scrimmage you go 12 yards and then they tried that jet sweep and that just didn't you know they tried one up the middle and the jet sweep and yeah just everything didn't work out so well Notre Dame looks pretty quick yes they do hand off to Kittleson he cuts back and gets hit and driven down at about the uh, 24 yard line number 50 that was Dylan Callahan who kicked out the block there and Kittleson ran That's almost the way you draw it up there Marty a nice four or five yard gain We'll take that every time. I'll tell you this, the uh, front line of Notre Dame does look stout. Ginther dropping back. He has time. Now he rolls to his left. Good decision. Going to keep it. He's got the first down. And then some. He breaks loose. He's up to the 40. And they're going to say it was out of bounds back inside the 40 at about the 36 or 37 yard line. First down south here. You'll see it. That was the play before, but uh, a nice run there. First down. Ball spotted on the 35 yard line. 11 yard pickup. Three, four defense for Notre Dame. And their, their front line is big. Handoff Kittleson right up the middle. Muscles his way forward. 
Gets it out to about the 42 or 43 yard line. Nice run by Kittleson. Yeah, and that works very well if you can, you know, like you said, against a 3-4, if you can just break that little seam and get a little seal by your center and guards there. Get big guards like that, and they did. Prunick, the uh, back off to the right of the line, leading the way. Another quick handoff, but uh, Notre Dame gets Kittleson that time for a loss. Yeah, that time they uh, sent those linebackers. You know, a loss of one. Good call by Notre Dame. Now we'll see if the linebackers come. And the question is which one comes and which one's dropping coverage. That's always the test. They're Big all coming. Handoff. Ginther rushed hard, he's gonna get sacked, and they took the ball away from him and fell on it just outside the 32-yard line. Taking the ball away that time was uh, Liam Girl. Right there, you saw him pull it and fall to the turf. Oh, man. It's gonna be first and 10 Notre Dame at the 20, 31-yard line. First time we see the Notre Dame offense here. Nate Eilenfeld's their quarterback. He fakes a handoff oh and keeps it, and he's got an opening. He's going to take it to the house. Oh, but he's going to be a step out of bounds at about the three-yard line. Eilenfeld faked the handoff, kept it, ran it down for big yardage. Another missed tackle, Marty. Yeah. Same thing as the kickoff. Going to be first down and goal from the two yard line. Oh boy. Island fell pretty good speed, Chris. 29 yard run on the keeper. Second back through his uh, play his whistle dead. I don't think that was Islandfeld, Marty. Pet that was Pettigene. Pettigene, I'm sorry, yeah. that's who it was. Pettigene, Robert Pettigene. I was looking uh, yep. at my sheet too and I saw yep. I apologize. Islandfeld take it. That's all right. Might as well get those over with the first quarter of the first game. <laughs> He's a senior. Islandfeld, the lone setback. Got a back uh, off to the side. Oops. Another penalty. Yeah. Remains first and goal. Ball is now spotted on the 12 yard line. Coach Novak can't be too happy about those types of mistakes. Wide to the right is uh, Matt Duffy, number eight. Keep your eye on him. Although I don't think they'll be throwing right just yet. Yep. I take that back. Little crisscross pattern. Intended receiver was uh, Polini, but uh, couldn't make the connection. Interesting call. Second down. Yeah, well, 12 yards back. Yeah. Had 22 yards to work with. Just ran one for yep. 37 yards, I think. Took Duffy, the wide receiver, and ran him down and in. And then the intended receiver did the down and out, and uh, he was pretty wide open, actually. Island felt a little swing pass out to uh, Polini. Polini, and he's fighting for yardage, but good gang tackling that time by uh, Saul. Much better. It's going to be third down and goal. There you're going to see, watch this. Boom. Good gang tackling. Ball spotted on the seven yard line. Only a pickup of five that time. Interesting. Big pass play match. here, Chris. They can stop him, force him into a field goal attempt. Fake handoff. Good pressure, throws in the oh end zone my. and the catch is made. By Polini. Oh my, Polini, a desperation throw. 
by the quarterback, Pettigeen, and uh, connection was made. Oh boy. That is tough, Chris. Snap and the place and the kick and it's good. 14 to nothing with 721 remaining in the first quarter. sideline uh, getting discouraged Chris they're gonna have to really pick it up well this morning if you uh, filled out your fantasy sheet and put Vincent Pellini down for your conference uh, he's got all the points punt return two extra points and a catch and uh, if you haven't noticed or can hear it, it's raining. I was going to mention that. Can you hear the pitter patter and background of our headsets? Seems like we did uh, half the games last year were in the rain. I don't remember that. Yeah, I remember. It seemed like every time we were here. <laughs> it seemed like uh, today's one of those days too. We, oh, you're in shorts. You, well, today's I'm, supposed I'm a man. To, yeah, today's supposed to be the uh, the beginning of the year sh short thing. Now we're not going to have a game for two I weeks. By then, we're going to have to get our winter gear out. Dewey Stevens rule book. That's no short, no shorts, ball or no long pants. I mean, ball rolls out of bounds. Penalty on uh, Notre Dame. Well, 7:21 left. Third time South had the ball here. Yeah, there's time for sure. First and 10 ball spotted on the 35 yard line. Kittleson in the backfield with Ginther. We got wide receivers, two to the left, two to the right. Prunick in motion. And he's wide open. Oh. And they pitch it out and a fumble. Kittleson falls on it, but he's back inside the 28 yard line. Uh, I don't think so. And no, Notre Dame recovers the fumble. Oh man, Chris. Oh boy. Ball is spotted at the uh, 27 yard line. It's a loss of eight, but the more important point is that Notre Dame has it first and 10. The handoff on a sweep. Trying to get the corner is the uh, running back, Eilenfeld. And, uh, he gets taken out. The bounds inside the 20. Nate Eilenfeld, 20 carries a week ago. Just 64 yards. Did score a touchdown in that game against the pier. A week ago. South gave up 224 yards on the ground, and so far, they're uh, pretty much on that pace again. Pellini is the uh, wide man on the uh, right-hand side. Good blocking up front. Get him, hit him. It looks like it could be intercepted. How can but uh, taking the ball away from the uh, South defender was uh, Vincent Pellini. That ball was up for grabs catch. Either person could have had that. And the Notre Dame guy wanted it just a little bit more. Well, it's going to be first and goal. Well, I thought for sure Marty either was going to be picked off or he was going to level him instead. Yeah. Let, it, let himself get out wrestled uh, for yeah. the ball. And there in pay dirt area again. And off to Islandfeld, he cuts it back and he's into the end zone touchdown. Nice running that time by Islandfeld. He read the hole and uh, took it to the house, scored a touchdown. 
It's uh, 20 to nothing, 6.36 left in the uh, first quarter. This uh, looks like it's gonna be a quick second half, Chris, unless uh, South starts to pick it up. Extra point is also good. Three yard run by Eilenfeld. Eilenfeld looks pretty shifty, Chris. Yep. Still got Rice and uh, Gutierrez uh, back deep. Wow. For this uh, kickoff return. Turnover, as we mentioned it in the opening, Chris, uh, we were hoping that South would be the beneficiary. That's uh, not been the case so far. Nope. And uh, to say I'm stunned would be an understatement. I hear you. I'm right with you on that. Kick is uh, carrying deep, uh, goes into the end zone. It'll be a touchback. South will get it first and 10 at the 20 yard line. Yep, any balls hit into the end zone, it's automatically placed on the 20. Matter of fact, even, yeah, I was gonna say, even if they go back and catch it, they cannot run it out. In high school football. Tanner Schmidt's got to go to the other side. Here we go. Goldbeck is uh, wide left. Hand off to Kittleson. He gets wrapped up right at the line of scrimmage and uh, behind the line of scrimmage and wrestled down. Making the tackle that time for the is uh, Blake Olenicek. A loss of one on the play for Matt Kittleson. He's found, he's found the going really tough last couple carries. Ginther stood in the pocket and then gets dragged down. Olenicek again in on the play. It's a sack. It's going to be third down and 14. Ball on the 14 yard line, loss of five on the play. They're going to send their linebackers here, Marty. Here. Pass up the middle is picked off at the 39 yard line. That's the uh, quarterback, Chris. And he runs it down inside the 15 yard line. I that think you're was, gonna get a roughing the pass on all Robert Pettigean. South. Pettigean limping, Chris, as he gets up. Here you can see the pass right down the middle. Good throw. Problem is it went to a white guy. And there you see a little bit there. He, the connection is made by the uh, South defenders. Yeah, the penalty flag was a uh, holding on South. I was hoping that it was roughing the passer. Ginther got clocked, but uh, I didn't think it was late, so <laughs> that's a little more yeah, wishing I know. than uh, your heart was speaking there. First and goal, ball on the seven-yard line. Seems like this is Second where they've Second back been. through, oh, and he's going to go in almost untouched. Scoring was uh, Eilenfeld on the uh, seven yard run. Too easy, to say the least. Wow. Oh. oh, we. Holder a little late coming in. Notre Dame 
has looked pretty good on these extra points too, Chris. That one is good. That makes it 28 to nothing. And there's still five minutes left in the first quarter. Hi, I'm Mia Hamm. As a professional soccer player, I know how rewarding sports can be and how quickly injuries happen. So I've teamed up with the American Association of Orthodontists to ask athletes to play it safe. With my years of training, I know what it takes to become an expert, and orthodontists do too. They're the experts who help people obtain healthy, beautiful smiles. Wear mouth guards, face masks, and helmets to prevent injuries. Keep smiling and visit braces.org. Back at South High School, uh, Notre Dame has just been uh, dominating so far with a uh, score of 28 to nothing. They've uh, got turnovers via fumbles and interceptions, long returns. By the way, that uh, interception return was uh, 39 yards, Chris. Check that, 32 yards. He took it at the 39, took it down to the seven. And that kick also carries into the end zone. South will have it first and 10 at the 20. Well, on that initial drive, they got a first down, like you had mentioned, uh, they haven't done anything since then. And also remember I said, you know, I didn't think uh, Notre Dame looked all that big. Number 77, Blake Olenicek is a house. I said there, three guys in the 3-4. Three, their three guys up front are big dudes. Uh, both their ends and their near nose guard are big guys. Rice trying to get around the corner and uh, couldn't do it. And uh, Arnold on the carry. It's going to be a second down, and that's a loss of about eight yards, Chris. Wow. See, and now that Notre Dame can just tee, tee off. off. You're right. Then. I think that was Kittleson. Yep. Kittleson gets it out to the 20, back to the original line of scrimmage. It's going to be third down and 10. Get the red quarterback. Quick out to Rice, and it was right through his hands. Looked like he wanted to run with it uh, before, before he had possession of the ball, Chris. It's going to be fourth down. Back deep for Notre Dame is uh, Pellini. A good scoop by the uh, punter and uh, goes out of bounds. Doing the punting was uh, Tanner Schmitz. And it's going to be first and ten Notre Dame. Ball spotted in South Territory again. It's going to be the 47 yard line. Pelini is wide to the left. Island fell the deep back in the eye. Quarterback is Pettigeen. He hands it off. Island fell. Picks up uh, about four or five yards. Turris on the tackle. I was just thinking to myself a minute ago that I haven't mentioned AJ's name yet. And that's not a good thing. Oh, right there. He's too gifted of an athlete. Football, baseball, basketball. Love to hear kids good that are playing there. multiple see sports. getting off the pile from that last play, Chris. Looks to be playing an end right now. 
Cut back by Island Phil. He's got room to run and great blocking downfield. He's going to go all the way for a touchdown. 43 yard run. Island Feld on the score. Gosh. Three twenty nine left in the first quarter. And next week is Bayport. Bayport's over on the north side right now, taking care of business. They're ranked sixth in the Are state. Are you uh, getting any calls regarding that? Uh, I have not. Do you have a, a I, mole? I, I do. I do. Extra point is good. It makes it 35 to nothing. 43-yard run. Once he got through the line of scrimmage, Chris, he had some great downfield blocking. Uh, Notre Dame is uh, really turning on the Jets now. <laughs> they don't do a running clock in the first half, do they? I'm not sure. You know, if you're in that, uh, the next two up from the deep men, and he's been kicking them in the end zone, you can bet your bottom dollar he, they're not going to get it. Kick off a line drive type, carries into the end zone again. Look like the last kick. Yeah, exactly. Again, it's a touchback. South will get it first and 10 at the 20. Our next game will be at North when uh, Pulaski comes to town. Look forward to uh, bringing that game to you. Ginther on a quick out. And uh, getting knocked out of bounds, doing some hard running. Is that Logan Hamilton? Mm, no, I think that was Govac. Govac, number 80. Ball at the 40, a 20 yard pickup, Chris. Inside hand off to Kittleson. He gets through the line of scrimmage and gets taken down at about the 48 yard line, the eight yard pickup. Nice run that time by uh, Matt. Second down and two. Three wide receivers off to the right. Prunick in motion to do some blocking. Kittleson trying to struggle forward. He does get forward. He's going to be just short of the first down. Give him a one yard pickup. It's going to be third and one. Oh boy. Oh boy. Got it. Nice run by Kittleson down to the 48 of uh, Notre Dame. Give him three yards there. So starting to move the ball a little bit now. Boy, I just wish, you know, when you have fourth and one that the quarterback doesn't always have to be in the shotgun, Marty. Yeah, I know that's. That's the offense. I know, but you start back four yards. Good run by Kittleson. Oh, boy. Through the hands of Ginther, he picks it up and uh, throws it incomplete. Good, Good. play by yes. uh, Ginther to get rid Good of it. Good choice. And then the slippery, you know, going out of the shotgun, too. It's not always for sure in the rain, in the wet, and the yuck. 154 remaining. It's going to be second down, 10. 
for South. Prunick the up back in motion. Kittleson up the middle, barrels forward, down to about the 41-yard uh, line. Seven-yard pickup. Kittleson aligning himself to the left now of uh, Ginther. High snap. Ginther uh, gets it out to Prunick. He's got the first down. He's wrestled down inside the 35-yard line. It's going to be first and 10. That's uh, Mason Prunick's first catch. First down and 10. Ball spotted on the 34-yard uh, line. Seven yard pickup. Ginther has time, throws it deep. Leaping catch is made. I think that was. Govac again, maybe. Govac or uh, Schmitz. Uh, yep, Tanner Schmitz. Nice catch. Oh, oh, what do they oh, say? Oh, incomplete. They call oh, an incomplete no. pass. Okay, it's going to be second down and 10. Ball still on the uh, 34 yard line. Hand off, fake hand off to Kittleson. Pass right up the middle to Prunick. Trying to fight forward, and he gets pushed back at about the 25 yard line. Nice play by Ginther there, sitting in there. Watch Good. him here with the fake, and then a poof. Ginther standing in there makes a nice pass. Pick up of uh, about eight yards on the play. Last, well, 28 seconds in the quarter, Marty. Ginther looking, and he's gonna get thrown down hard by Ola Nicek. That'll be the Back quarter. to the uh, 38, kick at the 37 yard line. That'll be the quarter, Marty. Okay. It's gonna be fourth down and a bunch. You can change sheets, finally. Really? Long quarter. Yep. We're at the end of one quarter of play, and there you see it. Notre Dame on top, 35 to nothing. One of my most rewarding experiences as a dietitian has been actually quite recently, just a year ago, when I met Donna because she was so motivated and ready to lose weight and to get healthier. Well, since I've met Sue and listened to her guidance, I've lost about 80 pounds and I have been taken off almost all my medications. To me, I mean, that's something to shout about. I just see the future getting better and better and better because I'm getting healthier and healthier and healthier. South had it on the move, Chris, but right now it's fourth down and 12. They're at the 36-yard line. Fourth down, they're going for it. Might as well. Get the rolling, throwing on the run. It's intercepted. And uh, the interceptor, Jake Darling, uh, goes down right at the 20. That play might be... Coming back, illegal procedure on South. I didn't see anything there, Marty. 
looked like hands of the face mask, which uh, they said illegal procedure, but yeah, I didn't I see anything yeah. there. There, Darling made a nice catch, but uh, penalty is declined. So it's going to be another interception. Darling with the interception that yep. time. Darling's got a great number, Chris. I've heard that. And it's really starting to rain now. Yep, it's coming down. Richard Bartson running the top camera. He's taking the brunt of it. Eric Wiesman down oh, on the uh, field is also taking the brunt of it. Scott's got his shoes off, his feet up on the counter as he spins the dials, our director. A loss of a yard for uh, Eilenfeld. Chris and I are in the booth trying to hold the show together. Wake up down there, Scott. Inside handoff. Oh, hard running. Yep. Very hard running. Island fell again. Notre Dame controlling the trenches. They're quick, controlling the trenches. Not the best of tackling so far that we've seen by South either. Not that hard running, you definitely got to get more than one hat on the ball. Well, I'd be very shocked to see Notre Dame put the ball up at all. I'd be thinking run, run, and run. You gotta... Island Field again up the middle. Avoids a couple of tacklers before he's wrestled down. Getting up off the bottom of the pile is uh, Logan Hamilton. Saw and uh, Dylan Dean, actually. Yep. Pick up a nine, Chris. Well, they said it was going to rain night and they weren't wrong at all and watching the radar it was nothing but rain for the next hours first out of the pocket is the quarterback and he's going to take it out of bounds Pettigene uh, loses yardage it's going to be third down you know I like that play Marty but where's the contain that guy should never get out there I mean yes it was a loss Yes, it was a nice play by the defense, but you can't let anybody get outside there. Watch this here. Get all the pursuers. There's no contain. Uh, good speed, though, to keep from getting the corner. All right, we got third down and about five. Fake handoff. The quarterback keeps it, and he uh, goes for about two or three yards, but that's it. Hey. It's going to be fourth down. A stop and a punt. Maybe. Before this drive, Notre Dame had had the ball for two minutes and 46 seconds. And 35 points. Gutierrez is back deep. And not very deep, but uh, the ball is touched down by Notre Dame at the South 30. South will have it from there, first and 10. They had some semblance, Chris, last possession of moving yep. the ball. Let's see if they can uh, do that again. Schmitz and Govek are two of the wide receivers in there. Also on the line. Silas Brunn, I believe it is. A lot of crossing in the backfield. Ginther avoids one tackler, but then he gets taken down. A sack situation inside the 25. Three receivers basically running fly patterns. The only safety valve was out on the side here, but he was covered, so Ginther 
Just had to swallow that one, Marty. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Second down and 15 ball on about the 25 yard line. Hand off to Kittleson in the middle. He gets taken down behind the line of scrimmage back to about the 22 yard line. Another loss. It's going to be third down and about 18. And they're all alone in the backfield now. Kittleson in motion, fake handoff to him. Ginther takes it right up the middle on a quarterback keeper and he gets knocked down at the 35 yard line, a pickup of uh, 13 yards. Yeah, good run, just needed too many there, Marty. Yep. For the third time tonight, we're gonna see Tanner Schmitz. First time he punted the ball tonight, it was returned 64 yards. Good replay, Scott. Two men back for the uh, Tritons. Another bad snap. Yeah. Good hands by that uh, punter. And then uh, making the fair catch was uh, Jonathan Santega. Hey, Chris, put you on the spot a little bit. Was that uh, Tanner Schmitz doing the punting? Yipper. Tanner showing good hands. Yep, a couple times he's had to get it out of there. Yeah, you see the press box. That shot being brought to you by Eric Wiesman. Talk there to you see Richard up there somewhere in the fog. Talked to Eric about a week ago, and he's all excited about the new season, and... Everything. I wonder if he has the same feelings now that he's getting rained on. <laughs> really? What an unfortunate situation. Pitch out to uh, Eilenfeld. He's got an opening. Cuts it back. And he's going to get wrestled down at the 42-yard line. Oh, man. It's a 22-yard run, 23-yard run. He's piling up the yardage to Chris Eilenfeld. Man in motion. Uh, flag goes up. Hamilton on the tackle. What's the call here? Really? Boy, I don't see anything, Marty. That's why you're up here and they're down there. They're a little closer. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, I don't know. We got a great view from up here. Seven seventeen left in a yucky Curtis. day. Yeah, in a yucky game too. It's thirty-five to nothing. Uh, Notre Dame. They've uh, piled on thirty-five points in that first quarter that just wouldn't end. Jonathan Santega, the wide receiver, out to the right. There and you Eilenfeld go. Gets taken down. Making the stop was Tyler Mason. Good job. Good pursuit by Tyler. The senior. Pick up a four yards on the play. Second down, about 11 or 12 for uh, Notre Dame. They haven't had a great deal of time of possession simply because they've scored so quick. Little lob pass out to Islandfield. He's got a little bit of room to run and uh, gets it inside the 40. 
There was your pass that you didn't think they would throw, Chris, but it was a very safe one. Yep. Here you'll see it on replay. Just a nice little dump. Nice safe pass. You know, in this rain and thing, that's all really you want to do. It's going to be third down and nine. It's like a long nine. Quick out <laughs> intended receiver was uh, Pellini, but uh, Pettigene's uh, pass was incomplete. A little surprised by that. The way Island Felt's been running the football, I don't know why they put the ball up, but. We don't mind it. Nope, force a punt. It'll be their uh, second punt. Yep, first one went 33 yards. I mean, despite the rain, Marty, there's basically no wind to speak of. If there's any, it's very little. Gutierrez is uh, back deep to receive the punt. Nice snap. Kick is away. Good protection. And a great bounce for yep. Notre Dame. South it's is going to get die it in that wet. inside the five-yard line at about the three be first and 10 south. I got it as a 37 yarder, Chris. Bingo. <laughs> By the way, fans, that bingo meant I got it right. Six eleven remaining until halftime. Kittleson the lone. Running back with uh, Ginther. Prunick is uh, kind of the up back, more of a H back type situation. Although he does have a carry. Uh, we don't have a, an offensive lineman out there. Coming a little bit late was uh, Cameron Baldwin. <laughs> Cameron's a big boy. Time out by South. Get that fixed. Mr. Risto, our field announcer, had to get up and stretch his legs a little bit. He's working awfully hard down there. <laughs> so we got a wild camera on the loose. Oop, there we go. Here you see the uh, South Huddle talking it over. I don't think the rain is going to lighten up much tonight, Marty. It's supposed to get heavier into uh, the evening and early Saturday, and then later Saturday it's supposed to uh, clear up and get a little nicer. And you can see the conditions. Other than the rain, it's also getting uh, a little bit foggy which we've seen at South High before. Yeah, no kidding. Ginther uh, throwing it out. Uh, missed his intended receiver. I think that was Schmitz out there. But anyway, pass goes incomplete. 51, Alex Malakor, 69, Riley Bell, and Blake Olacek, which uh, Marty's mentioned before. Those are the three up defensive linemen, and they have just been... A major issue for Mr. Ginther and the South offense is those three guys up front. You know, I think that Olacek, I think that's pronounced Olenicek. I'm not Olenicek, sure. Olenicek, you're I correct. So. Olenicek, yeah. Rice uh, couldn't hang on to it. Quick pass out to him. But uh, regardless. Ask the uh, stats guy here, is that the correct pronunciation? Olenicek? We are correct. Yep. They are uh, lots of issues with those gentlemen. South is tonight. Rice in motion. Fake handoff. Gunther keeps it. Uh, got tied up just over the line of scrimmage and gets dragged down short of a first down. Gives Schmitz a little more room to punt. Making the tackle that time was Jake Darling. Going to be fourth down in about six. Mm -hmm. 
Can't have a bad snap here. Oh, bad kick, though. Goes out of bounds inside the 30, Chris. He almost oh. hit his uh, lineman. Yeah, yeah his def def defenders there. Get your butt out of the way. Watch this. Whoa, <laughs> just missed him. <laughs> Ball is spotted at the 29 yard line for uh, Notre Dame. There's uh, 520 left until halftime. Uh, by the way, fans, stick around. We have a real nice uh, interview for you at halftime with uh, Chris Hine, the activities director here at South High. Side handoff to Island Fell. He pulls away from a tackler, if spins off another. He's still on his feet. He could go. He's cutting it back. And he finally gets wrestled down inside the five yard line. Oh, no, they're going to give him a touchdown? Oh, my. What a run. We got to get a replay of that one. Outstanding effort. He put his head down, avoided two tacklers there, another one there. And then he tries to get it to the outside. He is hit, but he leans forward and puts the ball into the end zone for the touchdown. 29-yard run. What an effort. It was an outstanding effort. Dragged. Oh, uh, can we have something to put the ball on? Oh, they're taking a lot of time. That's a couple more seconds here in the rain. Trouble is the clock's not running. <laughs> good snap and placement and the kick is up again and good and that makes it 42 to nothing with 507 left This video was submitted by a student through the Teens Drive Smart program. For more information on teen safety, visit teensdrivesmart.com. Nate Eilenfeld has uh, four touchdowns tonight, Chris, and when you uh, total out the yardage from those uh, four touchdown runs, it comes out to uh, 83 yards. He's having a night. Yeah, he only had 64 a week ago against the pier. I think he's going to be averaging over 100 yards a game after tonight. Well, he mentioned South gave up 224 on the ground a week ago, and same issues this week. Ball is taken at the five-yard line by uh, Jacob Rice. He had a pretty good head of steam, but uh, Darling put a stop to him outside the... Uh, 20, close to the 25 actually. So it'll be first and 10 south from uh, that spot. I'll tell you, Marty, there are games where your possessions there's maybe 14. It's gonna be a ton of them tonight, huh? This is a 17th change of, 16th change of what's going on here. Kittleson up the middle, avoids a couple of tacklers. And he's still wrestling forward. He gets it up just over the 40-yard line. A 15-yard run by Matt Kittleson. Well, I know it's 42 to nothing, Marty, but we've seen stuff like this where they've gotten some big chunks of yardage, Marty. I mean, they get 10, 12, 15 yards at a crack. Uh, it's the uh, sacks and the uh, incomplete passes that have kind of, well, turnovers too, but we've yeah. seen some big gains for South. Schmitz is the wide receiver at the uh, bottom of your screen. He backs up and goes in motion. Fake handoff to him. Ginther trying to run it forward. Gets a couple of yards. You got a feel for Scott Rice. We've mentioned him before, the coach. Brother, very successful at Wanakee. Comes from a family of football and 
I've got an analogy for you in a minute here, Marty. All right. Hand off to Kittleson. Tries to take it up the middle, but uh, very little going on there. We'll give him a no gainer. Go ahead, Chris. I was just going to say, it's got to be like a music teacher or conductor. When you start teaching someone how to uh, play an instrument and everyone squeaks and it's got to be hard on a, someone who loves to be a conductor and loves to hear good music. Scott Rice loves football and successful football. When things don't go right, it's got to be a little disappointing for him or grinds at the gut. Logan Hamilton, the intended receiver, but uh, pass goes way over his head. It's going to be fourth down. I know exactly what you mean, Chris. You know, you're so used to seeing things done right. Yep. And, uh, Everything put into place and years of, of football and training and playing and seeing it. and um, Good snap. Kick is away. Schmitz uh, hit it a little better that time. Goes out of bounds. First and 10, Notre Dame. 320 left until halftime. Ball spotted right on the 30 yard line. But like all, you know, everybody had to start somewhere. Frank Sinatra. <laughs> really? I didn't know how to sing all the great tunes right just away. Like, and just like Mike and Chris had to start yeah. somewhere. <laughs> you know, all, everybody's got to start a little from scratch, and you got to hope that eventually it turn out to be a. A masterpiece of sorts. Another uh, strong run that time. Island felled again. I think uh, he'll play most of this first half, Chris, and then uh, he may take some time off in the second half. I would hope so. Two forty in the first half. Yeah, clock running. Oh, oh no, he breaks loose down to the 40, 30, 20, 10, 5, and he's in for a score. 65 yards, make it 64. Islandfeld breaking through the middle and taking it to the house. Holy cow, not a lot of trickery there, Chris. Just speed. Good. Kick is good. Makes it uh, 48 to nothing. Should be 49, and it is. Well, Chris, I see here uh, the coaches talking to uh, the players. You know, when you run into a situation like this, it certainly doesn't make much sense to uh, be yelling at the kids. Nope. Certainly got to uh, do some teaching. Yep. And I think at uh, half, Coach Rice will basically say it's a pride thing and it show some signs and, and see something that we're going to try to get better next week. Unfortunately for the schedule, it doesn't help. And maybe sometime this year we'll discuss the schedule, the uh, conference. And Well, Chris and I didn't quite know how this was going to shake out because there was some word that the first week didn't count. It was a non-conference game, and uh, we, of course, didn't feel that was right. Nope. And it isn't. They're not doing it. Every game counts. So from week one to the final week, every game that uh, South and North play counts. It's a conference game. Yep. So in order to make the playoffs in this conference, you have to win five games. Well, and I don't think that's 
that's not a, I mean, that's not bad. I think it's, it's a, a good fair thing. thing. Yeah. I just, uh, the, one uh, of the reasons maybe for not counting that first game as a conference game would be then to make the playoffs, you only have to win four games. Yep. Which uh, I think that's gaming the system. I don't think that's right either. Nope. I just, the, uh, that's the alignment. The Green Bay system and the WIA has really changed the complexity of the conference and I don't think for the better. And uh, we'll get to talk about that throughout the year. We've got a lot of games, a lot of sports to play. Kittleson up the middle, avoids one tackler and then he gets knocked down at the 35 yard line. Clock rolling under two minutes now. We are running clock in the second half, so shouldn't take an overly a large amount of time. About 40 minutes or so. Ginther slowing down the action, takes the snap, hands it off to Kittleson again. He's met right at the line of scrimmage and push back, maybe picks up a yard, but it's gonna be third down. Never saw this coming, Marty. No, not this, not this. Ginther throwing it to the outside. He's got Rice right at the marker. Let's see if they give him the first down. Oh, come on. Somebody tell that official what the score is and give him a first down. Wow, they moved it back. I thought he was much farther up than that, Marty. Pick up a four yards on the completion. It's going to be fourth down and one. Yep, and South's not quick to uh, call anything here. I think the point is, is under they, don't 20 get, seconds. they don't want to give Notre Dame the ball back. An opportunity to score. Ten seconds left in the half. Hand off to Kittleson. He's got the first down and falls forward. Oh, that'll be and, it, though. And uh, 1.9 seconds left. As soon as they, oh, you got a line. You got to put it back in play. You can't just go down the line here, dude. Now you will. And we're at halftime. Stick around now, fans. Even though it's halftime and South is losing 49 to nothing, uh, we do have a nice interview with uh, Chris Hein coming up. You uh, can look for that in a few minutes. Don't allow your weight to threaten your health or control your future. Excess weight or obesity can cause emotional and physical health risks, but you can take control. The Your Weight Matters campaign offers free resources and tips to help you measure and understand your weight. Take the Your Weight Matters Challenge. The free toolkit prepares you to speak with a healthcare provider about your weight. Your weight does matter. Take the challenge and take control today. This little chick has hearing loss. It can be lonely, sad, and often accompanied by ringing in the ears or even loss of balance. But there's good news, because birds have an almost magical way of regenerating their inner ear cells to restore their own hearing, so they can live a happy, chirpy lifestyle. Imagine if science could achieve the same miracle with people. 
Well, at Hearing Health Foundation, we support research that is doing just that. Visit us at hhf.org and learn more about the cure for hearing loss and tinnitus. Did you know that your thumbs are some of the scariest things on the planet? <gasps> Every year, an average of 6,000 people lose their lives to thumbs that are used to text while driving. That means that your opposable digit is more dangerous than volcanoes, sharks, airplanes, jellyfish, tigers, lions, tornadoes, roller coasters, hippos, skydiving, spiders, and snakes. Texting while driving is more dangerous than all of those things. So why isn't it one of your biggest fears? This video was submitted by a student through the Teens Drive Smart program. For more information on teen safety, visit teensdrivesmart.com. Getting out of the military, I was missing this camaraderie. It's frustrating when you try and talk to people that don't understand. I still had the anger, I still had the uh, addictions, but we didn't talk about that. Came to a point where it's like, okay, I really need to talk to somebody about this. Family more or less encouraged me, you know, go, go to the VA. It's okay to go get help. It's okay to talk to people, because it takes true strength to ask for help. Hear veterans' real stories of strength and recovery at maketheconnection.net. Joining me is Activities Director Chris Hine at South High School. Chris, back in the day, was called the Athletic Director, but to be politically correct, why the change to activities? Uh, because I'm also responsible for overseeing 35 clubs that we have at Williams South and uh, a number of other organizations, drama, forensics, debates, so it's not just athletics anymore. Keeps the phone calls from coming in. <laughs> now, the school year starts uh, next week, Tuesday, but for you, the school year has started uh, a couple of weeks ago. How many sports do you have going already? Uh, we have really 10 currently going with uh, our cheer and dance teams getting cranked up also. Yeah, we have football started the first Monday in August, so we've been going for a month already. Uh, you talked about several different activities that are going on in terms of actually participating. Like tonight, we got a football game. What else is going on right now? Yeah, it's been a crazy week. I mean, uh, hopefully for the South fans and for our South athletes, uh, on, on Tuesday, we had our first girls swim meet. Wednesday, we had our first home soccer meet, uh, match. Thursday, we had a, a varsity volleyball invite. Tonight, we have football. Tomorrow, we have a 16-team soccer invite and a JV volleyball invite. So it's been crazy. It's been a crazy week. Now, one of the things that you as an activities director wants to be concerned about are the number of participants. Well, when you have that variety of sports, obviously you're going to have a lot of participants. But when you look at it year to year, how has the participation been this year as compared to others? Good. We've. I mean, yeah, that is something I, I track or my office tracks very closely. I mean, we obviously believe in the value of co-curricular activities. We want kids to be involved and participate. So we track that number. The last four years, our numbers have gone up each year. Um, right now, currently, as of fall this year, we have the exact number of kids we did last fall. So we're flatlined right now, which is still good. We want to, you know, ideally we'd be increasing again. Um, but we certainly don't want to decline. So we'd hope in the winter and spring we'll pick the numbers up too. One of the things that happens when you have so many activities is you need so many more coaches. And there's only so many staff members. The ideal situation, I would think, would be to have a coach be a teacher in the building. Obviously, that's not going to be the case always. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you've hit on a big uh, challenge for ADs across the state. It's finding enough coaches to to supervise, to mentor our kids. And yeah, we, we definitely prefer teachers because they're used to communicating with kids. They're available. They're in the school. They're easy to get a hold of. Um, you know, their schedules work well with practice times because they're off at the end of the day also. Uh, but we certainly don't discriminate against non-teachers. I mean, we just want quality people that are in it to teach, you know, not just to win, and, and uh, that are organized and have a lot of patience because we need a lot of patience. Staying with the coaching uh, point, one thing that's got to be a little nicer to this year is having a head football coach in place. I know uh, Scott came on board pretty late in the process. Yeah, last year, this is second year in, so it's it's definitely helped. Uh, you know, my first two years, I was the head football coach also, so it's helped uh, relieve some of the duties. You know, obviously, he's he's done a great job. I'm really happy to have him here, and, and 
Uh, we're happy to have him. He's benefited really the school and his family has. His, his wife's an excellent science teacher in the building. He, he has a junior son who's a great asset to Salt. Just a great student and a great kid. So, yeah, we're really, really happy to have the Rice family here. I ran into Jacob uh, quite often this past spring uh, umpiring his baseball games. Uh, let's talk a little bit about... Uh, we talked a little bit about the participants, but then you break that participation number down into uh, categories like, uh, you know, girls and boys and, and that kind of thing. Yeah, I'm, um, you know, we're a diverse school, so I think one thing that at least I'm focused on, I think our, the administrators in our entire building are, is how do we get more uh, diverse students out for sports? Um, you know, we are, a, we, you know, we have a large Hispanic population, a large Hmong population, and, and I do see more of those students going out for activities, which is great. I mean, if anybody comes and watches our soccer team, I mean, there's, it's primarily Hispanic and Hmong students, which, you know, which is great to see them getting involved with the school. When I taught uh, elementary physical education, not everybody falls in love with Phi Ed, but you would hope at some point during the school year there was an activity that they could you know, grab, or grab to and, and, and really uh, enjoy, and I think that's the same thing in a high school situation with all the different sports. You Hopefully you can touch on all those different uh, minorities. Absolutely. I mean, we offer 23 different sports, 54 different teams, uh, 35 clubs, so we like to think we we offer something for everyone. We just have to convince people to get involved. Sometimes people are just a little shy or they're, for whatever reason, they're a little hesitant to get involved. So we really try to encourage our, our students to be involved and, and absorb as much as they can in their four years of high school. Chris, thanks a lot for stopping by. You gave some great answers. Uh, we're going to have to do this again. All right. We're going to step off. When we come back, we'll have the second half. In Wisconsin, the laws are the same for bicyclists and motorists. So if you bike, ride with the traffic and obey stop signs and lights. Whether you ride a bike or drive a car, you must yield the right-of-way to pedestrians at marked and unmarked crosswalks. At intersections, always look for pedestrians before making a turn and slow down in school zones and neighborhoods to keep our kids safe. Share and be aware, we're all responsible. Going to school pregnant, riding the bus, that was hard. You just have all the stares and you have all the questions. When you get pregnant, all the stuff just goes through your mind. Abortion, adoption, keeping him. When you're 15 and pregnant, you can't do it without support. I wanted to give him a better life. I'm Miranda and I chose adoption. A healthy diet and plenty of exercise are keys to success, both on and off the ice. Teaching kids how to eat right will give them the fuel they need to be at their very best. Growing bodies need lots of fruits and vegetables, whole grains, lean protein, and low-fat dairy to be healthy and strong. A registered dietitian can work with your family to help you create nutritious meals you will love. And don't forget to exercise for at least 60 minutes every day. Visit kidseatright.org for more information. You show your smile to the world every day, but nearly four out of five Americans say they would smile a lot more if their teeth looked better. The good news is healthy teeth can be safely and affordably corrected at any age. Advances in orthodontics have made the treatment more successful and comfortable than ever. Only orthodontists receive two to three years of education beyond dental school to learn the proper way to align and straighten teeth. To learn more, visit mylifemysmile.org. See these hands? They grip the wheel of a Humvee in Afghanistan. Twelve years. Flying choppers. My hands? They're here for the person who fought in Afghanistan. I made the call and got support for my sister. Mine take care of the person who flew those helicopters. And if life gets overwhelming, they're ready to dial the Veterans Crisis Line. Confidential help is just a call, click, or text away. Bye. Jen, I'm here. OK, why are you wearing that? Because we are going golfing. I would, except I got a lot of stuff I got to get oh, done. Oh, no. no more to-do lists, no more laundry. We are going to go have fun. I mean, we've always wanted to learn how to play golf, yeah. right? So it's playtime. Come on. OK, what am I going to wear? You can learn how to play golf with five lessons from a PGA or LPGA instructor starting at only $99. Go to GetGolfReady.com. Get ready to play.
Simple moments are what make every day count. Every day, thousands of community and school groups, volunteer and government producers, technical staff and residents reach out to your community through one of the most powerful communication tools available, cable TV. Peg Access produces more new local programming each week than all the programming produced by NBC, CBS, ABC, Fox, and PBS combined. Peg Access channels provide communities with a diverse, independent, and local voice. Thank you for watching and for your continued support of public, education, and government access television. America's service members and veterans are strong, forged out of bravery, sacrifice, and duty. Sometimes reaching out for help can be the most challenging and worthwhile mission of all. When you recognize something isn't right, make the call to the Veterans Crisis Line or Military Crisis Line. Dial 1-800-273-8255 and press 1. If I ride, I will know the way the trees smell after the rain. I will grow a heart so strong that hospitals will take Tuesdays off. If I ride, road rage will turn into laughter, and oil tankers will haul chocolate milk. And I won't be a boy or a girl. I will just be a rider. Honestly, dude, I did the most shocking thing today. It's just something I never thought I'd do. Did your parents find out? My mom cried. What'd you do? Scott, can you bring us back? It's uh, under three minutes until we start. We can go through some stats and talk over some other things. Uh, 
back at uh, South High School. Uh, they're getting ready to uh, start the second half. Both teams are warming up. There's uh, just a little over two minutes left. I'll run through some stats. First for uh, Notre Dame, uh, their all-star running back, Nate Eilenfeld, had 13 carries for 209 yards and five touchdowns. That's an average of 16.1 yards per carry. Uh, the other uh, back, the quarterback, Robert Pettigeen, had three carries for 27 yards. And Chris... 16 carries in a whole half that's not very much no and everything was quick strikes and right through there and like there's very little resistance that's what's shocking Pettigene uh, in the first half was uh, four completions out of six attempts and uh, Chris Wright thinks those six attempts were way too many passes <laughs> uh, the receivers <laughs> Island fell at one catch for four yards, and uh, Vincent Pellini, who uh, scored a lot of points, Chris on extra points. He had a 64-yard punt return, and he caught a touchdown pass. He had three catches for uh, 27 yards. Uh, in total, Notre Dame in that first half had 267 yards, 236 of those on the ground. And you had mentioned in the first half, South had trouble with the run last week. Well, it wasn't just today wasn't just uh, trouble with the run so far Marty it's just the missed tackles and the uh, things that South normally through the years have done very well um, you know they may have lost football games but their defense and their tackling has been good and I would say the tackling has not been a strength at all no definitely not Matt uh, now for South Matt Kittleson had 17 carries for 75 yards that's an average of 4.4 that's certainly respectable uh, Jacob Rice had, uh, or pardon me, uh, Tyler Ginther had eight carries for minus two yards. Jacob Rice had uh, two carries for minus 21 yards, and Mason Prunick had one carry for minus five. Uh, Ginther was four for 13 with two interceptions, and uh, in the half, South had four turnovers, Chris, and allowed that long punt return, which is kind of like a turnover. Uh, on the receiving side, uh, Jared Golvac had one catch for 20 yards. Prunick had two catches for 15 yards, and Rice had one catch right at the end for uh, 50, for five yards. Uh, they totaled out 47 rushing, 40 passing, 87 total. Not uh, much offense. No, and uh, the thing for uh, Green Bay Notre Dame is that uh, they had the... Uh, ball for seven minutes and two seconds. I just want to give a shout out to uh, Jeff Bins, the uh, stat man for uh, Green Bay Notre Dame, providing us those numbers. Uh, it's a lot more accurate probably than adding up all the numbers that I came up with, but uh, we get the general idea. But uh, thanks again, Jeff, for uh, providing that information for us. We'll have running clock here, so Rola Flores does the kicking for uh, South. Uh, picked up at the 15-yard uh, line by Eilenfeld, it looks like. And uh, he gets it up to about the uh, 34. And the clock will just keep running now. I did talk to Chuck Bladorn, Marty, in the bathroom, one of the officials from Fond du Lac, who's done a lot of games in football and basketball. And he said, you know, it's raining out here, but it's not as bad as it seems. I said, well, you look at the lights. Chuck, and it seems like it's really uh, coming down. And he said, you know, I it's not that Richard, bad. I talked to Richard, our cameraman. He said it was like a heavy mist. Yeah. So he, so that's a good thing for those yeah. guys that have to put in the time out there. And the chain gang that's probably put in their 40th year. <laughs> yeah, their years of <laughs> those work. Those guys were playing, they're doing the chain gang when they, they, they didn't even have lights here. They were doing the chain gang when we were in diapers. <laughs> oh, oh my. no. Is Eilenfeld still running no. the ball? No. No. Making the carry that time was uh, Liam Girl, number 33. Well, you know what I don't like about them? I mean, there's just no, that's, we've seen that all day. They're just going right up the middle. Yeah, it's. They're not going to be fooling you with anything here. They're not going to be running any fancy stuff here. Boys are just going to come at you. I mean, you don't have to respect the pass or anything like that because. I don't think they're going to be throwing. I got that as a 30-yard run. Girl, the uh, deep back. 
gets a handoff again, runs over his own blocker and uh, leans forward. Tackle made that time by Gutierrez. Second down and uh, about seven, again three. Over at North Marty, Bayport's put up 49 points. Uh, North has got 12. Okay. So they'll have a running clock over there as well. So those. Oh, there's another gripe. What are we doing with two home games in this city on the same night? Can't exactly. they figure that out? Exactly. Let's get Bill Richards out of retirement. Jeez. Exactly. It's not that hard to figure out. Yeah, there's a lot of people in town that like to go and watch both both, both uh, schools play. There's a lot of people who like to watch Sheboygan sports, and there's not that many Friday nights that uh, people can go to one or the other. Not today with the rain away, maybe people are at home watching it live and listening to us instead. Yeah, that's a treat. Uh, nice game tackling there, Chris. It's gonna be uh, third down and 10. Pettigene still at quarterback, rides the uh, running back and gives it to him, but uh, was tripped up at the line of scrimmage. Helping to make the tackle that time was uh, Braden Kupsich. Kupsch. Pardon me. Fourth down. Nice little directional punt <laughs> and uh, the catch is made by the runner from Notre Dame. That young man was uh, Mike Gregori. Made a nice catch covering the punt. South will have it first and 10. It's like Kittleson and uh, Ginther remaining in the backfield. All on a 12 yard line. Uh, I see the defensive linemen are all three new guys. Kittleson uh, had a nice first half. Ball looks like it was knocked out, maybe not. But uh, Kittleson definitely got knocked. What do you have in the first half, Marty? 75 Rush? yards. Nice. In uh, 17 carries, I believe it was. They only had like, what, 96 yards or something, or 86 yards? 87 yep. total. Second down, get there looking. Nice throw, missed his receiver, Rice. It's going to be a third down. Clock running, seven, 10. Looking to the sideline, you have two coaches on the sideline giving signals, only one of them is the uh, hot man, so to speak, where there is count. A little crossing action in the backfield, Ginther better get out of there. Steps up and has his receiver, good catch that time by uh, Jared Govek. You've seen him make a couple nice plays. Tonight. Yeah, he had a catch in the first half for 20 yards actually. Nice. It's his second catch of the game. And good. it's a first down. Good footwork there by the junior. There you're going to see it. Nice catch. First down, ball on the 26. First back through. Looks like Kittleson uh, right through the middle it was. Good gain by Matt. Tackle was made by Jack Drake. Pick up an eight that time. It's going to be second and two. Get the rolling. Has Rice, and he dropped the ball again. That's three drops for Jacob. You to hang on to that ball, man. Oh, 
Ball spotted on the 35. Third down and two. Empty backfield. Just uh, Ginther, the only one back there. We got wide receivers left and right. Fake handoff to Kittleson. Gunther takes it up the middle. He's got enough for the first down. He's going to be stopped at about the 41. But uh, good crossing action in the backfield. Created space. About four yards on that pickup, Chris. Good replay, Scott. Got a lot of those tonight. No. Quick out and almost intercepted. <laughs> Not quite making the catch was uh, Quinn Snyder. That's one that I think he wishes he had. Oh, that could have been a nice stat. Really? You remember that game against South? Down by a touchdown and I got the interception. That's the story gets exaggerated through the years. Yeah, really. <clears throat> Quick out to Prunick. Mason trying to avoid that first tackler, but uh, good job of hanging on that time by uh, Drake. I like those passes, Marty, because they're nice and short and quick. Nice little short. Uh, I hope we got an injured player, Marty. Uh-oh, that's not a good thing. Maggie Bauer is going to have to go to work. I like those passes. Quick passes, Omarty, because doesn't let the quarterback sit back there and get attacked a lot. I like those when those opportunities are there and let your talented receivers and running backs catch the ball. Like Prunick. Yep. Unfortunately, he's the one that's injured, I believe. Oh, no. There you get a good shot of it. Maggie Bauer out there attending to him. Getting some air time was uh, Kyle Alvarez walking right in the middle of the screen. Hopefully Mason will be okay. Jacob is Jacob Rice is probably the fastest man on the team. Uh, Mason Prunick is uh, probably second fastest. And, uh, good to see him get up. Hopefully that leg will be okay. It's going to be third down and three. Mason on the training table right down in front of us. Uh, you know, it's bad enough when you're getting your butt kicked in the game. You don't want to get hurt or get guys hurt. That's not good. I'll well, see for the Packers tomorrow how many players they play because they don't want to get people hurt. Yeah, exactly. <coughs> Ginther all alone back there. Good quick out, nice. Rice had it right in his hands again and dropped the ball. Great pass by uh, Tyler Ginther. He throws a nice ball, Chris. It's gonna be fourth and two. Make it fourth and three. Gonna go for it or are they gonna punt? Looks like they're sending in uh, Tanner Schmitz. They'll be punting. Number 50, Dylan Callahan. You know him. He's a good baseball player. Look at how tall he is out there. No wonder he almost got kicked in the back on that one punt. <laughs> Motion on south. Also another big guy back there, Silas Brunn. Also back there is uh, Evan Horn. I'll tell you, the defense isn't going to get through those big guys. Now you just got to punt the ball over them. Fourth and eight. Schmitz again with a good scoop. Punts it away, taken at the 30 yard line. And slipping a tackle was uh, Santaga. He's still on his feet. Get him down. And he's knocked out of bounds outside the 40 yard line. Jonathan Santaga. Whoop. Run to the left. No, no, can't go that way. Let's go back to the right. Whoa. Stiff arm, one tackler. Ooh, good block there. No, almost a clip. No call, though. 
And finally knocked out of bones by Callahan. Oh, we got another hanky down though. They got we the clip. We don't like hankies. Clock running. They got the clip, Marty. They did get the clip, okay. That's the one thing you run into, you know, with all that left and right instead of the north and south is uh, the clipping part. All right, when it's all said and done, Notre Dame will have it first and 10 from the 29 yard line. Girl on the carry, gets knocked down right at about the 30. Not much of a gain there. Gutierrez on the tackle. All right, AJ. <laughs> Under a minute left in the third quarter. What is the point spread, Chris, for the running clock? 30, 35? Yep. Wide receivers left and right. <coughs> Hand off to girl. Jack Allen at quarterback. It's gonna be third down. Pick up of about six yards on the carry. Girl has gotten all the carries so far in this uh, third quarter. And that'll be the third quarter, Marty. And we're out of time. Wow, not even half the sheet. I've got 40 lines and I got to number 18. And we're done. And then we start action in the third quarter. It'll be third down for Notre Dame and three yards to go. Connected. If you don't have access to internet, you aren't going to be able to take advantage of anything. The internet is essential to the basics in life, housing, health care, employment. I personally benefited from broadband because I was able to fill out different applications, and I'm pretty positive that I'll get another job. To get connected, call 866-765-9118 or visit changeyourtomorrow.org. If everyone had access to the internet, people's lives would be changed. Connect today. Change your tomorrow. Back at uh, South High School, it's third down and three for Notre Dame. We start fourth quarter action. Hand off. The runner slips a tackle. That was uh, Mike Gregori on the carry. Jacob Case on the stop, just a sophomore. We're gonna hear a lot about Jacob Case in the next few years. All right, so they stop them. It's going to be fourth and one, and Notre Dame is uh, going to uh, punt the ball. Santaga is back to kick. He's got a 33, a 37, and a 23-yarder so far. Gutierrez back to return the punt. The left-footed kicker gets it away, and the fair catch is made at the 23 or 24-yard line. Next week, I mentioned this earlier, but next week we'll be at uh, North High School when nope, they host two weeks. Pulaski. Two weeks. We're not going next week for Labor Day, or are we? We are. Oh, we are. Uh, September, that's why you got to open up your email, young man. Okay. I thought I gave you the schedule at tennis one morning. Yeah, I did. It's on my refrigerator. <laughs> Maybe you ought to look at it once. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I thought we were good. That's okay. No, good. that's a good thing I said something. Otherwise, I might have been up, uh, rep <laughs> announcing alone. Uh, you probably. By the way, it's at North. They play Pulaski. Okay. It's a seven o'clock game. Alrighty. Just like this week. Mm, Kittleson. 
Hiddleston gets it up over the 30-yard line. Nice run that time by Matt. He's uh, he's had a nice game tonight. It's just one of those games on both sides of town. We just turn the page and move forward. And That's about look, all you can do is yep, see what happens next week. A little tougher for the South Siders, though, traveling up to Bayport. Yeah, it'll be a long trip. Hopefully it's not such a long trip home. Inside handoff, Kittleson again. Right up the middle, gets uh, knocked down over the 40-yard line. It's going to be a 10-yard run or so. I think Pulaski is a team that both North and South can compete with, play with. Hey, Chris, you know what? It makes a big difference when those three big dudes aren't in there. Uh, yeah. Those guys were a force. Malachor, Bell. Kittleson on the carry again. Picks up uh, three yards. 9.20 and counting. Get there still at quarterback. Pass down the middle to Prunick. He's got it. Hey, it's nice to see and him back in the game. And gets the ball down inside the 35-yard line. Nice pass, catch, and run. I saw Mason doing some of the things with Maggie Bauer to uh, yeah, get he, back uh, in. I was wondering if they were going to send him in just because of the score. But, uh, nice uh, to see him back in the yes, ball game. You're right. Yes. Ginther, Waiting. lots of time back there. Lots of time. Just run. And throws it out of bounds. Could have ran. You're right. Could have picked up some three, yardage. Four or five yards and get down. Another case where uh, big guys make a difference when they're not in there. I think the signals from the sideline. Kittleson in the backfield along with Ginther. Eight, eight minutes left in the ball game. Rice in motion. Fake the handoff to him. Give it to Kittleson inside. Going off a left tackle. And he gets it down to the 25-yard line. He's going to be over 100 yards. He's definitely going to be close. You're right there. Picks up eight on that carry. Third down and about two. Big handoff to Rice again. Give it to Kittleson. Basically the same play. And uh, you're just tiring out Jacob running back and forth on those fake jet sweeps. Yeah, really. They tried it early on. It didn't work. And uh, although they've run these last two plays off of it. They haven't given it to Jacob yet. Kittleson again, he fumbles the ball and uh, falling on top of it for uh, South was Jasper Vang. 71, Evan Horan on the recovery. Second down. Ginther couldn't slip the tackle. He gets sacked. Back to the 29. I think he should have delivered the ball. I agree. There's a few receivers down the field that I saw that he could have put the ball in there. And then held it too long and can't expect your line to hold it all the time there, Tyler. It's a loss of eight yards, about third down. Lots of yards. Oh, Throw yeah. down is intercepted. Jack Allen making the interception, and then he's knocked down. Another uh, interception thrown by Ginther. You know, we've called into question some of his decision-making on this drive, and uh, obviously that decision uh, really hurt. 5.40 
remains. There was a penalty on the play, obviously on South, but it was declined. They're gonna Notre Dame is gonna take the play. Ball is gonna be spotted on the 21 yard line. It'll be first and ten for Notre Dame. They could almost run the clock out right here, Chris. Yep. With the running clock. Is that Allen in the backfield or Gregory? I think it is. He was back there the last uh, possession. And he gets tackled in the backfield. Great play made that time by Tyler Mason. Second down, ball at, loss of two on the play. Ball spotted inside the 20 yard line. It's been all Notre Dame. No scoring here in the second half. They did uh, put up 49 in the first half, 35 of those in the first quarter. And uh, nice run that time by uh, Grigori. Yeah, South got the ball and punted it away and gave up a touchdown return and then Ginther fumbled the ball and a minute, two seconds later, seven yard pass to Pellini. And uh, nine seconds later, South fumbled the ball again. And an interception, a punt, Sorry. an interception, and it was all downhill after that. Inside handoff, short gain that time. It's gonna be fourth down. <laughs> 335 left in the ball game. Never thought that I would see the Notre Dame punter. This often. <laughs> this is about his fourth punt, isn't fifth, it? His fifth punt. Fifth one. Yeah, you're right on there, Marty. Here is uh, this play in an play. effort to pick up the ball. Jonathan Santaga put his knee down, and North South is going to get it inside the 15 yard line. Give Santaga a loss on the play. There goes his rushing stats for the year. <laughs> Here you'll there see, you it. see it. Yeah. Well, I just kind of missed it, but uh, you get the idea. Great opportunity for South to put points on the board. Prunick and Govac are wide to the left. I'm going to get about four chances to score Prunick here. Prunick in motion, fake hand off to him. Kittleson with a good block. That's a lateral. You got to pick it up, son. Pick it up. The, the official blew his whistle. He shouldn't have done that. That was a mistake on his part. And uh, I think Salt is just going to have to live with the big loss, actually. Uh huh. That was a mistaken <coughs> whistle there because. Inadvertent, yeah. Yeah, because the ball was thrown behind. It's just a lateral, you're right. Yeah. And he can pick it up and run with it. Clock continues to run as they uh, now they stop it as they discuss what uh, what's going to happen here. Uh, what are they doing now? A do over. <laughs> I can't. No way. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Unless oh, they're going to call, call it, it an incomplete. incomplete pass. That's a bunch of. Well, wait, wait, you can't run a play. The official's over here talking to the coach Novak. Oops. <laughs> we have total loss of control here. And they stopped the clock <laughs> with 1.39 left. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is. Now we need to. The uh, They got second down across the way, Chris. I don't know what they're going to so call. So it could be just an incomplete pass. Uh, on an inadvertent whistle, which would kind of make sense, actually. Right. Coach, Coach Novak, just let it go. 
Well, just, you can't just let it go. You have to have an A call. You got to do something. But they're still, still, they're still talking over there, Marty. That's my point. Okay, they're going to give him a do-over. Is it going to be first down? All right, wind the clock. It's first down, so it's a do-over. Rice in motion. We get another whistle and a penalty. I think we have uh, an offside on Notre Dame. Uh, the clock should be running, though. It is. Second down and five ball on the nine-yard line. I don't know. You want to use your timeouts, Chris, to... Uh, Score here, would you do that in a game like this? Me personally? No. But let her run out. I, I wouldn't. Even if I was Ice. south, I wouldn't. He's got a receiver wide open in the end zone, and the catch is made. I think that's Tanner Schmitz. I think they ran a the little wheel route out of there. Oh, Prunick. Prunick on the touchdown. All right. Way to go south. <laughs> Nine yard touchdown pass. Mason Prunick. Interesting how that all worked out from a lateral. Yeah, to a touchdown. To a do over. From a lateral and a loss of about 10 yards. Off sides to a score. But Extra point by uh, Gorola Flores is good. You may have heard the student section yell in USA. They're all dressed in red, white, and blue today. Of course, we haven't had school yet, so maybe they're not educated enough to, <laughs> to realize they play for a team that was red and white but now has black on it. Yeah, what happened there? <laughs> How'd that kind of creep in? I have no idea. I want to talk to the AD about that. I hope that basketball team isn't wearing black jerseys again <laughs> this year. <laughs> Oh. Hey, Mike, you wearing black jerseys again this year? <laughs> <laughs> You're the man. <laughs> they have black jerseys when you played here? Oh. I think red and white looks better anyway. Mike says so too. Well, with 113 left in the ball game, it's... Uh, Notre Dame 49, South 7. A Ginther to uh, Prunick touchdown pass. Kick carries down inside the 15-yard uh, line. Right up the middle. Somebody tackle that guy! Oh, no. No, well, they haven't seen a kickoff return yet, so. Taking it all the way for a touchdown was Mike Grigori. Remember that name, Chris. That was about an 85, 84-yard touchdown run. Jeff, what would you get on that? Well, we're going to get it right here. Taken inside. The, at about, that was about 85. 86, actually. 86. Took it at the 14. 14 yard line, yep. 86 yards. There's the replay. And, uh, and another extra point attempt for Pellini. And it is good. And with uh, 59.6 seconds remaining, it's Notre Dame 56, South 7. Wow. So they finally score a touchdown, have to kick off. And what happens? We haven't seen that yet today. All right. Both teams trotting out 
to uh, run another kickoff. Ay, ay, ay. This has not been uh, a good game, to say the least. Kickoff carries back to about the seven yard line. Rice has it. He he's spots oh. an opening. He gets through it. And he's knocked down he at fumbled. the uh, 44 yard line. Fumbled. Let's yep. see who got it back. I think it's time to. Uh, South does have it. It's over, Marty. It's going to be first and 10. It's over. Thirty seconds, and the clock is running. I don't know if they'll get another playoff or not. Just let it go. Silas Brun and Cameron Baldwin trot in. Two big linemen for South. Ten seconds. Fake to Rice. Ginther looks down. Has Same a receiver, play. and it's intercepted. And that's going to be the ball game. Play ends on an interception by uh, Notre Dame's Jack Drake. And uh, final is uh, Notre Dame 56, South 7. Chris, a couple of quick comments before we uh, sign off. Back to uh, practice on Monday for South. Six turnovers. On the other side, Notre Dame and none. Unbelievable. Yep, they played an outstanding ball game. If you wanted to give out a player of the game award, it definitely would have to go to uh, Nate Eilenfeld with his 209 yards rushing and five touchdowns. Uh, again, the final, Notre Dame 56, Sheboygan South 7. Our next ball game is next Friday night when Pulaski comes to Sheboygan North. We look forward to uh, bringing you that game. For our director, Scott Mailoff, and our outstanding cameraman, Eric Wiesman and Richard Bartson. And for my partner, Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road.